Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, and it's April 13th. Uh, don't forget today we will the bond market will be closing about 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time and tomorrow the stock and the bond market will both be closed. I'll do a quick little report just kind of more of an update since most of the um, economic data the big ones are being released tomorrow so I'll just kind of release that even though the markets won't be open so there won't be a discussion about the market just kind of data so that way you can kind of prepare yourselves for uh, Monday and what that might mean for Monday. Uh, so for today, we got the weekly jobless claims. Last week, we had 235,000 uh, people apply for unemployment. Uh, this week, their forecast is supposed to go up to 245, and it came in at 234. So again, now we're kind of getting back into this realm of 238,000, you know, in the mid 230,000 range of uh, job you know, people applying for unemployment, which is a good number. Uh, you know, obviously, I'll, I'll the, versus the alternative of higher number. So uh, good numbers here. Uh, we haven't really got these type of numbers actually since the 70s. So you may have heard me say this before when we were kind of averaging there for a few weeks there in the two th mid-230 range. Uh, again, uh, these are actually great numbers here um, that we've come back down to this level here. Uh, we also got the producer price index. This is the inflation on the whole level. So back in February here, we had a 0.3% increase or jump in the uh, inflation. Uh, forecast must be kind of stagnant for the month of March and actually decreased 0.1%. Uh, but if you f white, strip out the food and energy, which creates the volatility, uh, we have what they call the core PPI, and that one actually went up 0.1%. So that's the true number of what the Fed will look at. Now, the PPI is not a um, uh, important number. It does give us some guidance, primarily because this is on the wholesale side of things, and if the cost of, on the wholesale side goes this goes up, it doesn't always get translated being put over to the uh, consumer. We look more at the consumer and their favorite gauge, of course, for inflation is the PCE or personal consumption expenditure. And then they also kind of look a little bit at the CPI number here. Last but not least, we've got the consumer sentiment for the month of April. As you can see, we've got a little bit of improvement here. We had a 96.9 back in, uh, in March last month. And then uh, forecast for this month was supposed to be in the same range at 96. And it went up to 98. So good numbers there. Uh, overall, decent numbers uh, we got here. So nothing to be ashamed of. Right now, the stock market is mixed. It's not trading a whole lot right now. The Dow was up and then it kind of went to slightly negative territory. Doesn't mean it's going to close negative. It's just down slightly uh, at this moment. Uh, it's kind of taken its uh, cue a little bit from some comments that were made by Trump yesterday to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, what he kind of basically said, it really kind of helped out, as you'll see uh, later on, uh, how, really helped out the bond market. Basically, there's comments about Jack Yellen that he isn't sold yet, uh, that he'll be renewing her term next year, which expires next year in 2018. Uh, he, he did say she's not told, she's not out of, uh, he's not, he's just not giving the endorsement yet. Uh, he's kind of, I think, kind of waiting to see if... Um, where he wants, but one of the things he also said is that he wants, he thinks the dollar, U.S. dollar is too strong, and he also thinks the uh, interest rates. Uh, he he likes a low rate interest, uh, low interest rate environment. Uh, so that kind of helps weaken the dollar, which brings it down as well as uh, costs. You know, obviously businesses their costs uh, go up when they have a higher interest rate, so it helps businesses as well. Uh, but in the meantime, time, it, when our costs go up, when the dollar is too strong, it's hard for us to export goods to other countries. And that's kind of more or less, I think, what he's talking about right there in those terms. Now, also, we had earnings reports uh, going on this week. And uh, today we had uh, three of the major banks here. We had Citi, we had Chase, we had uh, Wells Fargo. Citi and Chase uh, did well uh, above their earnings reports. Uh, kind of expected, but Wells Fargo is still kind of struggling from the uh, sales practices that they had last fall that they got in trouble for, and their revenue fell short. So they're still struggling with that, um, you know, that, uh, I guess that, my, if you want to say reputation or not, but uh, that's still affecting them, uh, unfortunately for them. So uh, we'll get more later on in the week, but uh, that's it for headline news here. So let's jump over to the bond market. See here we had a nice little rally. We jumped up, I think it was over 25 basis points. Uh, yes, I forget exactly. But it was over 25 basis points that we rallied uh, after those comments by Trump. We were kind of hanging in the three and six, oops, sorry about that. Here, uh, three and six basis points range, right in this range here. And when he 
when those comments came out, it jumped right up to here and closed up pretty high. Today, we're still in the same range, about maybe negative three basis points, which isn't enough to really make a difference in pricing. Uh, so pricing is really about the same as where we left off. Now, some lenders may not have given a price or improvement yesterday after those comments were made. So today, they may be giving those out. So in some sense, instances, you may see better pricing today as a result uh, of that as well. All right, folks, so remember, uh, tomorrow will be closed, um, but I'll give out a report, just kind of give update as to the economic data, and then, um, so we do appreciate it. So if you guys want more updates throughout the day, just come over to Twitter, and I do post uh, updates on Twitter and underneath Mike Bjork right here, and just come over there. Uh, if you guys are in the uh, market for a refinanced uh, mortgage uh, or purchase, I can help you guys out with that as well. I do, uh, I'm mortgage originator here in California and uh, assist people with their uh, financing needs. Just reach out. Thanks. Have a great day. We'll see you guys on, well, we'll see you a little bit tomorrow, but mostly on Monday. All right.